okay, okay, we, we woofing, it ain't nothing bad. Okay, you showing me a normal hairstyle. I thought he was gonna be looking crazy. Money just ain't been to the barber in like five months, the hair woofing, beard untrimmed. Let's see how I clean him up. So to kick this video off, I wanna go in using my pick And I wanna lift this hair as much as possible I'm starting to notice how uneven it is in certain areas Omega And I just wanna make sure and ensure that it's as even as possible mm -hmm. And that the pick is fed through majority of the hair Skip some of this? No, I wanna see Beanie Seagull get a transformation For me to be able to... Why you do that? 91 is just subscribed Shut up, it's always a king Solidify it's myself and break into a real nice haircut my next step is to go in with my babeless FXs. I You're wanna go in, I wanna slowly but surely start, you know, to shape this afro, give it some type of shape, get it he, as even as possible. He wanna keep the afro. This is a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how to possible and clean up all of these price. loose hairs, all of like the, the messed up ends, because the client hasn't had a haircut in over five months. And I, I called that sure that this gonna I know about hair. Sh shut the fuck. Be a super perfect clean retro haircut. No so I'm taking my time. I'm going stroke by stroke, piece by piece, and I'm ensuring that I cut. So I'm taking my time. I'm going stroke by stroke. Ayana 996 just subscribed. What is he doing? Perfect clean retro haircut. So I'm taking my time. I'm going stroke by stroke, piece by piece, and I'm ensuring that I'm getting this hair down to that one desire length. Broken just subscribed. Stroke, stroke by stroke, taking my time, ensuring that I'm getting this thing down packed. Long shot just subscribed. Shut up, man. Stroke by stroke, taking my time, ensuring that I'm getting this thing down packed. I was trying to ensure that I could get a nice, True clean microphone shaped type pro. I just want to keep it as clean. Do you want to get his hair like this microphone? <laughs> clean as possible. This is going to be a what? goodie. So if you able. <laughs> Shut up, man! Just shape type fro. I just want to keep it as clean as possible. This is going to be a goody. So if you're able to make it, you know, through this 15 to 16 minute video, I think you're going to be super happy with the end results. This is a haircut on one of my dogs, man. He came through, gave me some dope footage, and we're going to put it together. My first step, I want to go in with my Babeless F axis towards the bottom of the curve, and I want to give myself a nice, clean line just so I can create a dope, dope, dope burst the taper on the side of this this beat trash as fuck shut up siren just subscribe money baby money baby money baby uh. one stroke at a time On the hill of my blade, I'm creating some shape, but also I want to slowly but surely create that gradient look. Then I'm completely open with my Babeless F axis. Halfway closed here. Not fully closed. Still closed. Using the hill of my blade, brush on one fade, one keeping everything consistent. Alright, alright, now we gotta accelerate the process here. What the fuck? He didn't make no progress at all! down things that you know taking time from you and you can really see if you love it when you step away from a while so my month that i took away from youtube was so 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 needed i got my mind right i hit my reset button i'm locked in i'm focused i'm charged up so you know i'm back in that bag and y'all know how we finna do we not finna slow down youtube is my world so i'm gonna take it back over i'm hopping back in with my one eighth guard this motherfucker acting like he Mr. Beast or some fucking body. YouTube is my word. I'm finna take this shit over. Nobody's stopping me. What the fuck are we doing, bro? Just focus on this motherfucking goofy ass cut. Now, YouTube is my world, so I'ma take it back over. I'm hopping back in with my one eighth guard completely closed against the grain, hitting the mustache, ensuring that I'm getting the hair down to that one desire length and still fading at the beard and cleaning up them deficiencies. 
you guys can see. Pushing the fro back some, bringing what some of the front of the hairline that? up forward, just so I ain't gotta cut into the fro area. I just want to be able to, you know, alleviate some of this and create a nice lineup on my boy. Next step, going in with some M spritz, and I'm basically hitting the top of the lineup, hitting the beard area, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side just to ensure that I can freeze this hair and set it up for that kill shot. Let's lock in. So now I'm going in using my Babeless Skeletus. I'm hitting the neckline area, and as you guys can see, I'm doing my slants. I'm gonna flip the ear down, convert to the corner of my blade, and work myself all the way around the ear. And as you guys can see, I didn't bar it out for a specific reason because the taper is just flowing perfectly perfectly into the back of the fro now now doing the back of the beard line which is super important to me y'all know this is where my kill shot start off this is where my frame out work is i hit Only the back of the just subscribed this man is talking that talk beard slowly but surely creating a nice 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 line man bro that's super fire right there it's super fire that's clean you can tell it's gonna be crazy so, I'm hitting my vertical areas on this side of the uh, fro, making sure that I'm insured, making sure that my vertical slants is pretty clean, working myself around the corner of that ear, and now dropping, doing a vertical area in the back of the beard line. Super clean. He getting my boy right for the summer. Look at him. Looking like a fake ass stretch off in my next step is to adjust his head, break myself into the middle, and I'm working my way all the way to the left just so I can achieve a nice 90 degree angle. And I just want to ensure that I can get the line up as straight as possible, taking my time, uh -huh. slight pressures because uh -huh. my clippers are, are super, super Getting heavy right. hitters, and just taking my time, letting everything naturally come to me. This is the game to me. I just hop back in that bag, just fresh off Puerto Rico. So sometimes when I come back in, fresh off of a place, so if I haven't been cutting for a long time, I tend to be a little bit slower, but I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to ensure I can see, you know, in certain areas of the fro, it's light around the lineup. Now my next step is to go in with my boy Sean Cuts Head Color. Look at this fucker. He's giving him a fake haircut. The second he washes his head, this shit goes away. Enhancement car assisted by the Beam Team cordless compressor using my color no drip. I really hate this shit. I really hate this. This was not a thing when I used to get my hair cut. I'm bald now, so I ain't got to worry about this shit. But what is going on with you? Chat, do your barber do this to you? Do your barber be doing this shit to you? Which ensures that the color will not leave. The color will not rinse off to water. He could go to sleep, lay down on his pillow, when the color won't be on his pillow. Wait. Rinse off to water. He could go to sleep, lay down on his pillow, when the color won't be on his pillow. Wait, it don't rinse out to water? It won't be on his pillow? So this is the permanent cut, huh? You know, I broke all of the color rules with this product. That was what No Drip was about. It was about creating a color that nobody has ever seen in the industry. Creating something waterproof, giving a client something that will actually last. Because there's so many colors out here that people put on people. And the colors don't last at all. You put them on, and then the color is off when they hop in the shower. My clients can hop in the shower with No Drip, and it does not drip. It does not fall off. It's water resistance. So it's one of the dopest products we got under Tune 45. Okay. My next step is to go in with my Barber Magic Pencil. Your mascara. And I basically want to assist this the same way women do assist their eyebrows. And that's just basically them going in and them shaping, you know, the eyebrows up, which is me basically shaping him up. Since when do motherfuckers want the chalk line on their head? I don't understand that. I'm so outdated with haircuts. Since when y'all actually wanted a chalk line? And they'll that go behind that, sense. add any fill in or any color or whatever they want to add in just to make the eyebrows darker. I added no drip to do that to make my lineup darker on my client. Then after that, they'll go behind it, conceal it, and blend that conceal lined out to get the eyebrows a more cleaner and sharper image. And that's the objective behind it, to give it a more sharper, cleaner image. This is for my Kodak moments. This is what give my clients that flair, that pop. You know, give them that extra crispy-ish look. So I go in using my trimmers as they blending brush that they would use to blend that conceal lined out. And as I'm doing this, I'm starting to disperse some of that color and spread some of that color. And it's concealing really well against his skin. That contrast is super beautiful. And as you guys can see, we in the game. We taking this joint to a whole different level. I'm in that bag right now being super focused. That boy locked in. And my boy, man, he looking super sharp. 
And I'm just, you know, hitting more of the flow Cause the flow was never done When you go through so many other steps You gotta come back to it That's the whole point of shaping So I break in, lean my client back Angle my razor to 45 degree angle Stretch the skin And bring everything back to its highest point As you guys can see I'm getting a nice, clean, natural, natural, natural Look beard at that. And it's just super fire Go in with my whisk, dust it off Hop right back at it Cause y'all know how I am I know, Can't do something I know how time. You gotta do it multiple times yeah, Two or three multiple times Multiple layers Solidify that perfectness to solidify that super clean look. You know, practice mm -hmm. make perfect. And I'm from an era where you gotta lap things more than once to create that real clean look. I'm from an era where you gotta lap things more than what the fuck does that mean? From an era where you gotta lap things more than once to create that real clean look. And as you guys can see, I'm angling that razor. Stretching that skin, bringing everything back to the line, and I got this boy super crispy. Backstroking, everything is super perfect. <laughs> super icy, hitting the bottom of the beard. Hey. Hi, 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 hi. I don't know. I really don't know what the fuck he describing, but it ain't a haircut. Myself some type of whiff on the beard, but also clearing the neck panel and ensuring that my client myself some type of whiff on the beard, but also clearing the neck panel. I never knew this part of my face was called my neck panel. <laughs> Chat got a fucking neck panel. <laughs> And ensuring that my client will leave this shop as clean as possible, as crispy as possible. I never fucking heard a neck it's super panel. Fire. What the fuck is the Super world? fire. Y'all just make his shit up. My next step angle that razor at a 45 degree angle, stretch the skin, bring everything back to its highest point. Oh my god. Super clean, dog. Taking my time, ensuring that these lines is nice. And we making it happen. Oh my god. Use the whisk, dust them off, go back at it for that second time, like I stated earlier. You go back for that second time to create that extra perfectness. And it's super clean. <laughs> it's stroke super clean. What the fuck is going on? And as you guys can see, super fire. Super fire. This is tough. Next step is to make the other half of the beard look super clean, super satisfying. Clearing this panel out the way, knocking this hair out the way. Then hit the bottom of the line just so I can ensure that it's super perfect. Oh my god. My next step, hitting the inner part of the mustache, giving myself some type of foundation. Mm -hmm. Don't want the mustache too skinny, but don't want the mustache too thick. I want it perfect size and boom, there we go. Now hitting the corner area of the mustache, ensuring that it's giving it some, you know, nice cleanliness to it. Taking my time, making it happen, my dog looking icy. He getting him right for the summer, chat. And then doing a the final shape just to make sure that everything is 100% together for me before it's the end. Cause with shaping the fro, it's multiple times. I didn't show you, but I repicked the fro out just to see the unevenness in the fro. And then I went right back at it. But you gotta do that a lot with a fro. You can use holding sprays and things of that nature if you want to, but I still feel like if you're gonna shape a fro, you gotta come out, you gotta repick that fro because Sometimes when going through the hair, the top of the blade is kind of pressing the fro down to lay the hair flat. So you just want to ensure that you super clean. In the imperfect world, we do get clients that come in this thing five to six months without haircuts. As barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. And sometimes you might got to step away from the chair for four plus weeks just to realize how much you truly love something. Everybody need they reset button. Stay focused, stay locked in. And there's no way to give it up but this way on my channel. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section hashtag glacier gang i want y'all to stay focused stay patient remain humble no matter the situation stay locked in it's year 2021 we super focused we in that duffel we ain't slowing down and we just super focused man regaining that peace on that island got my head in a whole different realm i'm superly in my bag if you were able to make it through this 18 minute video i highly appreciate you and may god bless
I don't know what's going on chat, but that man got on that microphone and started just saying shit. He trying to sound super motivational about shit that ain't that serious. I don't know what's going on in this world.